on the arrival of the 10th presidential elections in Iran, the credentials of four candidates were approved by the Guardian Council. Hundreds of others were disapproved for reasons of disqualification. The four presidential candidates were incumbent President Mahmoud Ahmadinejad, National Conference Party leader Mehdi Karoubi, the Expediency Council Secretary Mohsen Rezaei, formerly the commander of the Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps, and former Prime Minister Mir Hossein Mousavi. In a sermon of Friday prayers, Expediency Council Chairman Akbar Hashemir Afsanjani urged all candidates and the IRIB, meaning Iranian television, to abide by the law. In an ironic overture that later became critical and instigated a major crisis, he urged IRIB personnel to perform their duties fairly and without partiality during the campaign, so citizens would be reassured that there would be no bias and trust could be fostered. In the following weeks, all four candidates announced their platforms, filming campaign ads for television, distributing leaflets, and putting up posters. The presidential campaign would run until June 11th, one day before the election. All predicted, even the man on the street, that the main battle would be between Ahmadinejad and Musavi. However, most potential voters were said to be yet undecided, and it was still very unclear how large the overall turnout would be. What was clear and decisive was the importance of the television debate between the candidates. This was the first time television debates would be broadcast live. Judging from what had occurred in past elections, no one anticipated any major disruptions. To woo voters, Karubi and Ahmadinejad had promised to distribute all revenues to the people. Musavi had promised to establish a job and business-friendly economy. Rezaei had stated that he intended to create a revolution in the economy. Karubi, Musavi, and Rezaei all criticized Ahmadinejad for his handling of Iran's economic policies. Ahmadinejad, in return, accused all three rivals of being players in Hashemir Afsanjani's hands. In previous elections, candidates held television debates that were pre-recorded. This year, however, IRIB director Zarghami had vowed that television debates would be held live. During the subsequent weeks, the presidential campaign turned into a grand panorama of passion and enthusiasm poured out by the voters. Supporters of various camps gathered in the main squares and intersections in the capital by the thousands, and demonstrations lasted long into the night with people of every perspective honking their horns and chanting slogans supporting their preferred candidates. The streets of Tehran had never witnessed such euphoria. The people demonstrated in an upspirited manner. Nothing was abnormal. No one could have imagined that this was the beginning of a major disturbance. The spirit of the election was an obvious new chapter in the pages of Iran's history. Even on the night of the election, the spirit of cooperation and national cohesion prevailed.
آقای احمدی نژاد خیلی آدم خوبیه دوز هم نیست خب تنها ایرادی که داره این همه جوان نمیمدن خیابون بهش رعی میدادن به خاطر این گشت ارشاده منو چند بار با خانمم گرفتن شما چه نسبتی داری؟ بیکار آقا چیه بیرد هر ساعتی نه به احمد نژاد A new generation of voters were present and mutual respect between rival groups along with rhythmical, sometimes mocking slogans could be heard. Even the police and security forces were now innocent bystanders. They watched as witnesses and sometimes participated in the festivities. No reports of clashes or rioting were made. The jubilee gained momentum as election day approached. Rival groups occupied opposite sides of the street and chanted for their favorite candidate, and slogans vacillated between serious and satirical.